Loss of hearing can be caused by many different factors. I am not a doctor, audiologist or healthcare professional. Do not rely on any information contained in this video and always seek and follow the advice of your healthcare provider. Hi and welcome to Hearing in Australia. My name is Nick and today I'm going to talk about the cost of hearing aids, which I suppose is the all important question for most of us. But before I actually get into the cost of the hearing aids, uh, I'm going to go to, to take you through my experience of uh, what happened to me and the process and, um, and, uh, and then finally the costs uh, associated with that. So uh, initially um, I was getting obviously complaints from family, friends, work colleagues about not hearing or understanding what people were saying and so I knew I had hearing problems. I had had hearing tests in the past, but it sort of hadn't come back to a point where, you know, they said I needed hearing aids. And as I've said in the last videos, I just mentally couldn't justify the cost of, of hearing aids. Um, and so therefore, I never did anything about it. So I was walking through a shopping centre uh, one day and there was a retail uh, hearing place uh, in the shopping centre. I'm not going to identify who it is because that's not fair. They do serve a purpose and you know they they obviously uh, need to um, make a profit because that's what they're there for. Um, and uh, I walked into the uh, audio, um, the the hearing aid shop uh, with uh, with my wife, and uh, they did a preliminary hearing test, which uh, showed that I had hearing loss. Uh, and that's fine. That's something I did. I already knew. Um, and at which point they said, "Look, you know, we need to do a proper hearing test. Uh, you know, do you want to make an appointment to come back and see the audiologist?" Which I said, "Yeah, okay, fine. I'm, I'm happy to do that." So about a week later, uh, I went back to my appointment uh, and uh, went into the soundproof room, and the audiologist put the hearing buds in my ears and explained how the tests work and all the rest of it. And I did the test, and, and sure enough. As I've shown in previous videos, that's what the result was. I had high-end hearing loss, which, again, I, I knew already. And so uh, the, the girl started to talk to me about different types of hearing aids uh, and the channels, and I have gone through channels in a previous video, uh, and, and at that point, I really had no understanding about what all these channels were. I, I had no, point, no clue, but, you know, I do now. Um, and... Uh, went through uh, the latest technology and now that they've got 64 channel uh, hearing aids which have only been out for a few months. Now this is going back to uh, around about the 21st of July 2021, so a few months ago, so not that long ago. Um, <clears throat> but uh, so it really sold, sold me the benefits of the latest technology and what it could do and it was a rechargeable version which meant that you could uh, recharge it in in um, little box and and it would um, uh, you know didn't have to change batteries and it all sounded very good so then she got a pair of hearing aids and uh, took them out and put them in my ears and um, then uh, wirelessly she was able to program the hearing aids to my hearing um, and spoke to me and of course the change was instant it was it was great i could hear very clearly what she was saying i could hear uh my father-in-law was with me at the time what he was saying and it was very clear and crisp and i thought wow you know it was like waking up and uh, having a hearing back all of a sudden so it was, a, it was it was a interesting experience so she took me outside into the mall of course being a mall there was lots of background noise which of course i struggled with and i'm sure most of you have um and yeah, you know, spoke to me in the in the mall, and I could hear it clearly in the mall. And I thought, wow, yeah, this is great. And then she took me back into the room, and sat me down. I said, okay, well, you know, what are we talking about? How much are these hearing aids? So here are the costs. So it's basically divided up into four levels. You have the premium, the advanced, intermediate, and the economy model. So the uh, premium models were 12,500 for a pair. So this is two, okay, for one in each year. The advanced model was $10,500 for the pair. The intermediate was 7,500 for the pair. And the economy was uh, 4,500 for the pair. Now I put the quote up here uh, so you can see it. I'm not making this up, this is not me. I have deliberately 
not shown the company because that's not fair, okay? I'm not out to say they're doing anything wrong. They're, they're there to provide a service and they do provide a very good service to the people that need it. But to me, there's no way I could justify spending $12,500 on a set of hearing aids. In actual fact, I would struggle a great deal to spend $4,500 on a pair of hearing aids. Now, it's not that I can't afford it. Yeah, I could afford it. I could afford to pay, you know, the four and a half thousand or the seven and a half thousand on the hearing aids uh, if if I wanted to. But to me personally, I couldn't justify it. So I thanked her very much for her uh, her help and her service and left. Okay, so uh, obviously didn't commit myself because uh, I I just um, I couldn't I, I just couldn't commit myself to that sort of, of cost. So um, I went back home and my wife wasn't with me at the time and I did chat to her about it and I showed her the quote and she, and she was a bit shocked at how much they were. And I, I just said to her, look, you know, I know I need to do something, but you know, I just, I, I have no underlying medical conditions other than the fact that I have just lost that high end earring. So, you know, I don't have any deformities. I, I have seen, uh, hearing specialists and audiologists in the past uh, and these people as well and so there's no underlying medical condition that I had to deal with as well it was just simply that I had lost the high-end hearing which puts me in the mild to moderate hearing loss um, category now I'm of an age and uh, in a position where I don't qualify for government subsidized or free hearing aids okay so I don't have any sort of healthcare cards or I don't have a industry hearing loss um, that uh, I can claim on so you know I, I just don't qualify for that so I had to pay for them out of my own pocket and I'm sure there's plenty of you out there that that had to do the same and so I thought okay how am I going to how am I going to justify this uh, you know how am I going to resolve the problem at a price point that I'm comfortable in paying knowing that I wasn't going to get the ability to be able to walk into a shop and talk to someone about it. So that was that that's an underlying factor. And so I contacted a few manufacturers and uh, searched around a fair bit and I finally found a, uh, a manufacturer that was willing to sell to me uh, the hearing aids. And so I sent her my audiology report, which is this, this is exactly what I sent her. So as you can see, it's been written on and scribbled on all the rest of it, and that's all she required. Um, and the, uh, the girl at the factory programmed my hearing aids and sent them back to me. Now, from the time I sent her the audiology report and paid for them to the time I received them was about eight days. So that's all it took for that process. And I'll be upfront with you straight away, they are made in China. Okay, now I know for a lot of you that's a sensitive point, but it's just the fact of life. That's where they're made, and that's where most of them are made anyway. So they are made in China, um, and uh, if that's a problem for you, well, that's fine. But what I've done is that I've managed to be able to do a deal with the manufacturers where I can provide a pair of hearing aids as of today's date, and obviously, you know, if you're watching this in two or three years' time, it might the price might change. But as of today's date, for one thousand two hundred and sixty-seven dollars Australian dollars, that is delivered to your door. Now that's in eight to ten days, and that's if you live in a major uh, Australian city. If you live out uh, in rural, it might take a bit longer, but they'll be express post to you. So if you want to get involved and uh, and and sort your problem out for twelve hundred and sixty seven dollars instead of well four and a half thousand uh, dollars you must first have gotten your audiology report okay so if no audiology report the site will not let you order them okay and there's two reasons for that first reason is I have to make sure that you have seen a professional and you have no underlying other health issues that you need to attend to. And the second one is, of course, that they need that audiology report at the factory so as they can tune or program your hearing aids to your specific hearing loss. There's no generic programming. They are all pre-programmed to your specific 
audiology report and then they've posted directly to you. So if you want to do that and you want to buy these hearing aids, uh, here's the website. I'll put a link on the site as well. So it's www.hearinginaustralia.com. Have your audiology report ready. It's either uh, uh, you can do it as a PDF or a, or a photo file or whatever, but it won't let you proceed unless you upload that document. Uh, then uh, it's sent off to the factory. The factory audiologist programs it. I don't program it. It's programmed in the factory and then it's posted directly to you from the factory. So that's the offer. That's what I can do for you. Uh, I've gone to the trouble of doing this. Now there's nothing stopping you from doing this yourself. If you want to go direct yourself, by all means, go out and do the research. But I took the risk and um, bought them from this particular company, uh, uh, unknown. Uh, and I just have to say that yes, there probably is a slight difference in the audio quality between what I have and the twelve and a half thousand dollar pair. But for me, saving ten thousand five hundred dollars or thereabouts. I'm more than willing to put up with that because these are 28 channel hearing aids. So they're a good quality hearing aid and I couldn't be more happy with the result. And my wife is also incredibly happy that uh, now the conversations are so much easier for us. So that's all I wanted to say. Uh, if you know someone who's in a situation where you know, they, they do need hearing aids, but they won't go ahead and do it because uh, of the cost, um, then you know, let them know and say, look, there is an alternative, you can do this. Now, I will tell you also that these hearing aids have batteries and they're not rechargeable, but also the hearing aids do come with a sleeve of batteries and the cost of batteries, you can buy a year's supply of batteries for the both years, so for both hearing aids, for $60 for the year. And I'll, I'll point you in the right direction for that as well. Uh, they don't come directly from the factory with that year's supply. They only come with one sleeve, which is uh, about five or six batteries, I think, in it. So that'll last you about five to six weeks. So generally a battery will last you a week. Um, so if that's the way you want to go, it's there, it's available. Jump online, order it through the, order through the online portal. Uh, and it'll get directly sent to you directly from the factory tuned to your specific uh, requirements. Um, that's all I wanted to say today. Good luck. I uh, hope you found this informative and um, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.